Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm your boy, Ken Jackson, right here on CrazyBabyTV.com. Today, we're talking about the Russia investigation. All right, so let's break it on down with the Russia investigation. We got three dudes indicted the other day, as you all know. Uh, first up, Paul Manafort. Now, Paul Manafort was uh, Trump's uh, campaign manager from June to August 2016. Um, and right now, he's facing nine, nine counts of the total 12 counts in the indictment. And this includes one count of of conspiracy against the US uh, which last time I checked that's treason right well however you want to word it treason conspiracy against the US is all the fucking same alright so um, he also has a count of conspiracy to money laundering uh, four counts of fi uh, failing to file reports of foreign banks and financial accounts from 2011 to 2014 and one count of being an unregistered foreign agent uh, uh, and lastly one count of making false and misleading uh, federal statements uh, to the Department of Justice now um, what's that mean it means that Paul Manafort one is a piece of shit two with him being so closely connected to Donald Trump sounds like some collusion going on to me you can't tell me that Donald Trump didn't know what this dude was doing uh, even long before they got you know in, into bed together in the campaign I, I'm just not buying the, sh buying the bullshit that Trump uh, had, has you know his hands are clean because they're not and we all know that uh, President Trump is a liar, uh, the liar and thief. Uh, so, uh, but, I mean, let's just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Not fake news, Mr. Trump. This is real news. And as much as you want to put it on Hillary and the Democrats, according to Mr. Mueller's investigation, all roads are leading to your camp. And... Quite honestly, why would Hillary and the Democrats conspire with the very people who were helping you get elected? Does that make any goddamn sense whatsoever? Absolutely not. Um, so, uh, Mr. Manafort is accused of uh, concealing from the United States his work as an agent of the Ukrainian government. Okay. Uh, and hiding tens of millions of dollars he received. He allegedly hid the payments and laundered uh, more than $18 million through different U.S. and foreign corporations, partnerships, and banks, and failed to report these accounts to his tax preparers. Uh, he also allegedly used the money uh, from these offshore accounts to pay off his personal expenses, including real estate, luxury items, and services for himself and his family. So again, like I said, uh, Paul Manafort is a piece of shit, and looks like uh, he was definitely uh, committing some treason, uh, and quite possibly, and more probably, uh, working on behalf of Donald Trump directly to derail uh, uh, the the election uh, in his favor. So it is what it is. Let's face the music. All right, secondly uh, is Rick Gates. Uh, this is uh, Paul Manafort's former business partner. He also worked for the Trump campaign. Uh, and uh, uh, some of his duties included uh, wrangling for the GOP convention delegates uh, and arranging the inaugural ceremony uh, and uh, ABC News reports. Um, he's charged with eight counts in the indictment which includes conspiracy against the US treason okay uh, money laundering 
and also three three counts of failing to file reports uh, foreign banks financial accounts from 2011 to 2013 and he was also an unregistered foreign agent uh, and also made false and misleading uh, Ferris statements uh, to the Department of Justice um, so he was charged with a lot of the same things as Manafort uh, and uh, obviously he's probably going to be facing the same potential punishments um, now uh, and again he was also uh, using the many many millions of dollars that he received for personal uh, expenditures um, last but not least George Papadopoulos I don't know why everybody's having such a hard time uh, pronouncing his name it's Papadopoulos okay now uh, he also worked in the Trump campaign uh, foreign policy advisor served for a total of 11 months uh, for President Donald Trump all right um, so think about this these are three key figures in Donald Trump's campaign but yet Donald Trump claims he had no idea what these guys were doing he had no idea of their activities these are like three key advisors to Donald Trump during this campaign all and all all, all Donald Trump could say is that uh, these things happened long before the campaign no this shit went right up to and during the campaign but Donald Trump claims he didn't know what was going on and believe that I ain't buying it I ain't buying it fuck that so uh, Mr. Papadopoulos uh, he's charged with one count of making false statements and omissions to the FBI um, which means uh, he basically lied to the FBI during an uh, investigative interview that took place back in January um, in which he you know made untruthful claims about a time he met uh, with uh, an unnamed overseas professor still unnamed as far as we know maybe the FBI knows who that is by now um, because it has been reported that uh, Mr. Papadopoulos is snitching he is definitely snitching on these other two motherfuckers so um, if I was you Manafort and 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 who's this other uh, was the other guy's name uh, uh, Manafort and Gates y'all better get your shit together because George is about to tell on y'all <laughs> it's funny too how 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 uh, white collar dudes, multi millionaire and, and billionaires, have so much in common with common street thugs and criminals. As soon as they're backed into a corner like rats, motherfuckers start telling on everybody. Papadopoulos ain't going down by his damn self. Uh, looks like somebody's definitely going to be going to jail though one of these motherfuckers or if not all of them are going to do some time um i believe gates and manafort are on house arrest uh, white privilege you know had it been one of our asses we'd be locked up thrown away tried and convicted already you follow what i'm saying um, so I'm sorry. I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it a racial thing. Like I take that back. Um, but uh, like I said, Papadopoulos is snitching. Um, he gonna tell everything he knows. He, Cause he trying to save his own ass. You better believe that shit. All right. Um, he plead guilty already. As a matter of fact, um, to making the false statements to the FBI. So there's no telling what else he has to tell uh, in regards to this whole Russian investigation thing um, uh, part of his uh, part of his part of his statement uh, uh, is a summary made uh, for the purpose of providing the court with a factual basis uh, for his guilt uh, to the charge against him um, does not include all the facts known however uh, he did a uh, 
escaped the statement knowingly and voluntarily um, because he said he is in fact guilty of the crime charged. So what's that tell you? I mean, he rolled over quick. It, I mean, it took him no time. But once, uh, once uh, Mueller and the FBI uh, filed them charges, Papadopoulos wasn't playing. He said, yo, I'm guilty. I'm guilty, so let's make a deal. Right, so like I said, Gates and Manafort better start getting their shit together because uh looks like them motherfuckers is about to be rolled over on for real. Alright, so enough of that shit because uh we all know uh that Mr. President is gonna do everything he can to discredit uh Mueller now. He has to. <laughs> That's what he does. And he's gonna start Twittering like crazy and calling everybody fake news and liars and it's all the Democrats' fault. It's Hillary's fault. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Trump. It's all Hillary and Obama's fault that your people were colluding with the Russians to derail our American election system. Which pretty much uh, amounts to to an active war, technically, uh, so the, the Russians are, are waging a a a, a, a an, an electronic war against the United States and doing everything they can to derail democracy. And Trump seems like you're helping them. So yeah, there's collusion, buddy. <laughs> At least I feel like it is. So uh, you know, like I said, I'm not buying your story, Mr. Trump, Mr. President. What you know, liar in chief. I think you were involved. I think you knew exactly what was going on, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Now I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to apologize when it's all said and done. But as it looks like right now, there's a whole lot of guilty motherfuckers up there in DC. And uh so I guess hey, you know what? Hey, Trump was right. He said he was gonna drain the swamp. He uh, he just didn't uh, just didn't think it was gonna include his ass. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, hey, I'm out of here for the morning. You know what I'm saying? I just want to keep it short because uh, this is the big thing in the news right now. Oh, you know what? Um, one more thing though. Um, make sure you tune in this Friday to CrazyBabyTV.com or check us out uh, at our YouTube page, uh, Crazy Baby TV Network. Uh, we're going to have the first presentation of uh, uh, what, what did I decide that I was going to call the show? Um, uh, mic check. Yeah, mic check. Mic check. We're going to have our first uh, first uh, in-studio presentation of the show. It's called Mic Check. Uh, we're going to have two uh, uh, super hot local rappers. Uh and you're going to get to, uh, or we're going to get to interview these two dudes and then uh, they're going to perform for you live right here on crazybabytv.com. So uh, it's going to be Friday night, 8 p.m. Log on, check it out. You won't be disappointed. It's going to be a fun show. Um, also, thank everybody for uh, continuing to support uh, crazybabytv.com. Um, it has been, um, it has been, a lot of fun uh, getting to this point where we're at now. Um, and uh, trust me, it's going to get better and better. I got new shows coming on that, that are in production. Um, and, you know, we finally got our shit together. So we're doing it. Uh, we're doing big things. Independent artists, this is uh, a, an excellent opportunity for you to get promoted, be seen, be heard right here on crazybabytv.com. We have a global audience. And we're building that every day. Um, and, and with your help, uh, we can become the next big media sensation. All right. And it's all about independent music, independent films, independent television, independent, independent, independent. Support the little guy. Support us. If you like our channel, if you want to see more, help us keep it going. Hit the donate button on the homepage at www.crazybabytv.com. I'm your boy, Ken Jackson. This is Crazy Baby TV, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Peace.